Hi, this is Uriah Duffy. I'm here with the new Blacksmith amp from TC Electronics. It's one of my favorite amps that's come out yet, and I'm going to show you why. We've got three memory slots. I've never been a fan of digital storage amps. There's always been too many options. They've simplified it and given you three. And it's just like a car stereo. So all you need to do is hold down, get your settings right, hold down memory one, and it's stored. It'll remember these settings forever. When you turn the amp off, I can then make, say, another setting, maybe with less bass, and store it in memory two. And it's that easy to store your settings, so you can go back and forth. Memory one, memory two. As you can see up here, there's a beautiful foot switch that's involved. It goes through all the, all the changes in the user seat. But let's get into the head itself. It's amazing, you got the game stage here. You set that. Set your EQ, which is very familiar from other amps. Bass, low, mid, high, mid, treble. This is where it's a little bit different. They have a compressor that's built in. The compressor, it's, they call it Spectrocom. It's not a one-band single compressor. It's a multi-band, um, offering almost a per-string compression. It, it affects the highs a lot differently than the lows, making everything really even. Check it out. If you look closer, there's a second function of this knob here, tweeter tone. Tweeter tone is basically like the knob on the back of your cabinet where you turn it up to adjust the tweeter. They've been able to emulate it so that those high frequencies go through. So check it out. To get to that feature down here, it shifts. Now we can do the second function of the tweeter tone is set to zero like that. And if I pull it up. without having to go around the back. So I usually keep it set somewhere around, somewhere in there. When you're done setting it, you can hit shift, then it brings you back to the main mode. Going further, the next knob here is the tube tone. The tube tone is probably the best tube emulator I've ever used. I was skeptical at first until I started using it. I was very used to the solid state sound. But if you want a little bit of grit, a little bit of warmth, and also the tube compression that you get from a power amp section, you just have to throw this on a bit. Let me do it a little bit just to give you a little sample here. So you can hear a little bit of warmth, a little bit of the fuzz underneath, and it's not brittle at all. Let me crank it up a little bit. So now you can see it's starting to get a little more of the breakup of the tube. Also, I'm feeling a little bit of compression, even without the spectra comp on. I'm feeling a little bit from the tube the more I put it up. So let me put it up all the way, and you got full on fuzzy sound. Thank mm -hmm. you. 